What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And also, don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com, get yourself a copy of Trap Chords, get yourself a copy of MIDI Drums, get yourself a copy of Arrangement Arsenal Volume 5, and end the struggle also please follow me on ig if you have a question that's the fastest way to reach me hit me up in the dms at craftmaster3 also follow the spicy sundays podcast on spotify now today we're going to be looking at a concept that is super easy in studio one and uh, might be difficult for you if you're coming from another DAW and you're used to doing things the hard way. OK, so Studio One automation, super simple concept. Um, I think one of the most popular things to do inside of a track in Studio One is to put like halftime on it. Right. So if I go to say I want to put halftime on this uh, on this loop here. And I go and I put halftime on, boom, we do that. And then we play it. All right, now say I only wanted it to, say I only wanted it to occur for, um, you know, uh, a, a given region or something like that. Well, the way that, the way that you would do that is you would use this, you would use this button called bypass, right? And look at that. When you, when you uh, hover over a, um, given a oh, um, parameter inside of studio one, a button or something like that, it'll tell you like, Hey, this is automatable. This isn't right. So you see that if you want to be able to automate it, it's super simple. All you got to do is right click on it. And there's this right there, uh, edit automation bypass. And once you do that, if you look down here, it'll automatically create an automation lane over the track that you want to bypass right so now so now in its current state you see that this is going to be an off on command right so in order to do that you see this is on if you want to turn it off you just have to draw a curve which is in the opposite direction so down is on so then up is going to be off right and now we have this Right, super simple. Now, what if there was another parameter on this plugin that you wanted to automate? Like, say you wanted to automate this filter, and I'm right clicking it, and I don't, I'm nothing's coming up, right? Okay, so I got something for that too. If you go to where this says read, right? So this is, so this is giving you, this is telling you how your automation is behaving. All right, so it's telling you that it's reading automation. If you scroll down to where it says add remove parameters. Um, you see how, you see how it has bypass over here. So you've already added bypass this, uh, to this automation lane, right? So what this box is telling you is that when you have this automation lane open, you'll be able to use this drop down menu and you'll be able to get it the volume, the pan and the bypass function. Now, if you want to, um, edit anything else, if you scroll down, all of the all of the parameters which are um, which are uh, able to read automation, um, which is able I'm sorry, which is able to read automation um, commands. You'll be able to select them here. So you see you see this band right here. I'm pretty sure what that's called. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what that's called is this is going to be split high, right? So this is split high and this is split low. So if I just go ahead and click add. Now I select close, right? So if I go to split high here, now watch what happens if I draw a curve. Now this isn't an, this isn't an off on command. This is, you know, this is a value which, you know, which you can, um, you know, turn from whatever the, whatever the threshold is here. So from 29 Hertz to two to 20,000, right? So if you see, if you see what, as I click on different areas here, it's going to, it's going to give me, um, it's going to give me different values, which is letting you know that it's reading this automation curve. So check this out. And 
and that's a cool little um that's a cool little transition that you can that you can employ in halftime halftime is really um you know really cool when you're you know when you're adding these different automations to it so if you wanted to you know if you wanted to keep it going you can add and remove parameters and go to another good one to mess with is like smooth right you go ahead and click this in here and we'll just go we'll go from we'll go from making it an effect to a swell right now check this out Actually, I want to do this in reverse, right? From an effect to a swell. Now, say in this beginning part, you liked, maybe you like this effect with the way that the swell, with the way that the effect works. Right. So then, you know, this is something again, you could go, you could go back in here, automate. You see how this says loop, this is going to be loop length, right? So you just go ahead and add this over. Boom. Right. And where, where we start right now, you see how that's set to eighth. So that's telling you that right here is going to be your eighth note, right? And let's see what the, let's see what this value is right here. So that's eight bars. And you see, if you keep the plugin open, you'll be able to see like what height you need to, you need to set your, um, your parameters up for in order to get this All right. Boom. So now we got this, let's listen to what we got. So say, say I want to make a change I can go here. I, I think I only want that, uh, that effect for the first section. And that's, you know, that's how you can use, that's how you can use like through automation, you can really unlock some of these, you know, some of these plugins that have, you know, so much more in store um, to be able, you know, to be able to get, uh, you know, a deeper and more complex sound. Now, uh, if you want to hide this lane, all you have to do is press A a couple times and it'll come up. Um, if you want to, if you want to copy all the automations that are on this track, all you got to do all you would have to do to do that is simply is simply highlight these and then drag them over copy and paste holding down alt and then when you press a you can see and you can go back to your different automations make changes and you see they're all right there super easy i mean studio one has the easiest automations you don't you know typically you don't have to menu dive on all of their native plugins you can right click on it and most third-party plugins you'll be able to right click on it and automate so if you guys have any questions hit me up this is cmp with craftmaster productions studio one tutorials.com cmp kits.com you guys keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next one